Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson, and this week we will see the first jobs report release of the new year. And because I'm an economist with an ear to the ground on all things labor market, what I'm starting to hear percolate is concern that there's going to be a slowdown in white collar jobs hiring. Well, that's really interesting, and I think it's worth investigating. So in this vlog, we're going to look at three different facts about white collar versus blue collar jobs. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that there's been a slowdown in hiring in both types of professions. Now, it's really important to define them for the purposes of what we're going to discuss. One, blue collar jobs are tied to industries in which you make things, the good sector of the economy, think manufacturing and construction, while white collar jobs traditionally were jobs that you could do in an office, think lawyer or accountant or software developer. Well, now we know that a lot of these jobs are done from home or remotely. Well, the key aspect of both of these sectors is that during the pandemic, we saw hiring demand shoot up, lots of job openings. But over the last year, we've seen a tremendous slowdown in these sectors, both in manufacturing and in traditional office work, down about 30% from a year ago. The second thing you should know is that they're both key contributors to GDP growth. And here we have some good news because last week we saw that the economy continued to grow with a solid footing in the fourth quarter of the year. And we know that both of these sectors, blue collar and white collar, are contributing to that growth with white collar jobs actually taking the lead in the third quarter. Now, the third thing you should know about economic growth and these sectors is pay, because that's really important for those of us in office jobs versus blue collar jobs. We want to know which jobs are paying the most right now. And here, the story is a bit mixed. In fact, what we do at the ADP Research Institute is we look at people who joined a company in the last three months because their pay is most sensitive to real-time economic and labor market conditions. And what we've seen in white-collar sectors is that recently, their pay growth has been virtually flat from a year ago. Whereas in manufacturing, uh, we've seen a little bit of a bump up, but not much. You know what sector is really seeing growth for new hires? Construction, because housing still seems to be in very high demand. Which leads me to my final point on this, my wrap-up conclusion. Traditionally, we've segmented the economy into blue-collar and white-collar jobs, but things are changing. With population differences in an aging U.S. population, alongside new advances in technology, Gen AI, and the digital economy, the traditional definitions of white collar and blue collar workers may not show up in pay anymore. Think about it. Those jobs that pay well are going to be jobs that are in high demand, that don't scale, and that meet the future growth of the economy. And that could be a sector outside of a blue or white collar framework. It could be healthcare. Well, thanks for watching the Main Street Macro. For more information on the week ahead and that deep dive on the jobs report brought to you by the National Employment Report, please check out ADPRI.org.